Hi, I just wanted to talk to you about resources. So when you get your oils, it's really important to know where to go to get information. There is a lot of things to learn. And as long as you know where to go to get information, you're never going to be stuck as in knowing what to do. So the number one thing that you would have been is added to Harborside Healing, which I'm um, welcome to the group. So you can post in there any questions. And um, I also encourage you to um, post your opinions and the um, suggestions and oils that you've used in there. You can also, at the top of the Harborside Healing on a Facebook group, if, you're, if you use Facebook, there is a search bar. So when you're in the group, you can look up, say, on your phone or on the, if you're on your computer over to the side, you can look and the search bar and type in some words that relate to the problem that you have. So whether it be dilution rates, um, books, um, uh, recipes, things like that. So I try and label the posts that I put in there. So you'll get all the posts that relate to that coming up. So I just wanted to talk about resources. So um, the two resources that I would have shown you if you came to a, a intro class will be the, the Essential Life book, which I love. So the fifth edition is just out and I have a whole heap of these if you'd like to buy them. They are $60. Um, you can also buy them online for $60, and um, but you'll also have to pay postage. So if you get them off me, you won't have to do that. The other book that's really great is the um, Emotions and Essential Oils. So normally when we first start getting our oils, we're really looking at the physical, using the oils physically, and then we might go and start looking at emotions. So anxiety, a lot of people come to the essential oils for anxiety. So if you've got a home essentials kit, some of, say, some oils for anxiety would be frankincense, peppermint, lavender, um, and also Easy Air is great for um, relieving chest tightness. Um, some of the other things that are really helpful that you could might be want to have a look at is um, the, this is called the emotions and essential oil wheel. So if you're looking at, so some people find it difficult to express the, how they want to move in the positive. So you can look at the, where you want to go with positive in your um, how you're feeling, and you can use the oil that relates to this. So for example. Um, if you want to feel comfort and you want to feel cared for, respiratory blend. So that was a good one, which is easy air. So, and then on the other side, some people are so stuck in anxiety or depression that they can't actually look or think of how they want to feel. Um, so they might describe how they're feeling. And so, for instance, for an example, is um, uh, feeling unsafe and lonely. So the, the oil for that is cedar wood. So um, the oils have lots of different uses. The other thing is there's also another book that you can get, which is called Modern Essentials, and you can look that up online as well. Um, the other thing that you is so exciting, we have put together a self-directed learning package, and it's called... Um, core education so you will when you are enrolled you will be added to this group and this is up to you so that you just start at the start it will open up into when you click on the group if you enjoy facebook it will open up onto that and then you can just watch the videos and the short posts and different things and it goes through all of the top 10 oils in your home essentials kit how to use them the safety it also talks about doTERRA's co-impact sourcing and lots of the other things about doTERRA. I won't, it's too many things to, um, to talk about. But yeah, so that's a great start, uh, great place to start learning. You'll get all the information and they'll also talk about some resources for you. So enjoy your oils, get them out and start smelling and enjoying them. Catch you later.